dairy takes babies from their mothers. They trust us. We butcher them. Nothing happens. Nothing good happens in slaughterhouses. These are just some of the slogans on striking billboard ads erected around Ireland and the UK promoting veganism. But now the Irish Farmers Association has raised questions about how the campaign is funded and has branded the organisation behind it a secret society. The IFA president, Joe Healy, joins me now, as does Sandra Higgins, who's the founder of Go Vegan World, which runs these campaigns. You're both very welcome to the programme. And Sandra, you might explain briefly to us how you came to found Go Vegan World. Well, in 2008, I founded a sanctuary quite by accident, actually, when I was given two orphaned lambs. Um, that grew into Eden Farmed Animal Sanctuary, which is home today to 178 animals. And as I watched how the effects of exploitation on them from being bred to be used and killed uh, for food for humans in the egg-laying hens, victims of the dairy industry and the flesh industry, and as they died, mm -hmm. I realised that it wasn't enough to give sanctuary to those individuals, that I had a moral obligation to do vegan education and okay. to tell people information that has been hit, largely hidden from us. All right, and you have moved on now to these, these, these billboards. And Joe Healy... What's your problem with the billboards? Well, our problem is in relation to who's funding the organisation. There's a big difference between uh, two orphan lambs. Uh, it has come a long way from two orphan lambs to uh, a fund now that's uh, almost €3 million. Euro. Yet there's no transparency around who funds it. There's damaging, misleading and incorrect messages being put out there. Uh, they're very disingenuous. And I think that the public deserve to know who's funding those campaigns. Because right. if we just take it last well, night... Well, wait, Wait, wait a minute now, Joe. Joe, hang on a second now. You've, you've made certain allegations there. Let's find out. Three, mil three million euro, is that a correct figure, Sandra? Uh, that was the income last year, yeah. It's got a lot of money. It is. It's a fraction of the money that the IFA know, and no, the, the it's, dairy it's a lot industry. of money. And is this money that you have collected? Uh, the, uh, we're funded by donations, yes. What sort of donations? How do you get your money? Well, if, if you look at, um, at our website, at the ads on the street, at social media, uh, they've attracted a huge amount of public attention because they woke people up. We, we, uh, we, what we did, how we does shined. the money come in? Oh, it's, don it's donated to us, to, to our bank account uh, to, and through our website. And in what sort of amounts? Well, you've just mentioned the amount there that three, we got yeah, in Yeah, three million, but do you get year. that in, in, in a, 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 a small number of large tranches, or do you get it in small donations? Um, we, we get it in a mixture. But to be honest... What would be the biggest donations uh, that you've received? Well, the... the, the I, I think that that's irrelevant. Uh, it's, not, well, it's not irrelevant. I mean, the question that Joe Healy is posing, I'll come back to you, Joe Healy, in a minute, is uh, how do you fund these ads? And you did say and, and uh, about your, 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 two, you, your two lambs and your, your farm in Meath, and now you, you had €3 million Euro last year, um, and it's a lot of money, and it's a, a valid question as to where it comes from. The, the animal rights movement is very well funded at the moment. It's a growing, it's a growing movement. More and more people are going vegan mm -hmm. all the time, and people are interested in somebody like me that has the motivation to 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 grow from two lambs to an international campaign that exposes the truth. Mm -hmm. And Joe said there that our work is is misleading and damaging and incorrect. It is. It's, it's absolute, absolutely factual. All those facts are verifiable because we quote our resources. Every time we put something out, we quote our resources. And far from being damaging, if Joe was really interested, if the IFA was really interested in, in caring for their farmers, they would be working alongside us to help move into a plant-based economy because a animal agriculture is going to fall. It's already fa failing. And in order to protect okay, farmers, Sandra, we need but, to but change. Sorry now, Sandra, but before we can move past uh, your funding to talking about this, you say your facts are all verifiable and you're quoting your resources. So tell us about your funding. So let, let, let me clear this up once and for all. Good. We are funded mostly by individuals. The IFA, in an attempt to discredit us, have insinuated that, that there's a profit motive and that big businesses are, are behind us. It's very obvious 
that they are not. Of all the activists out there, we're not the ones promoting consumerism or junk food or advertising on behalf of any business. Okay, we are Joe not Healy, funded by any they're of those not funded businesses. by big business. Do you accept well, that? She said something there about that it's very obvious none of what she has said makes it very obvious where the funding comes from. It's just too easy to say that we get it in donations. I think it's very, very important for the people that they're trying to influence, for the public out there, that people know who's funding this organisation uh, that's doing all in their power to damage a sector that's very important to the Irish economy and particularly to rural Ireland. All we want is more transparency. All we want is for Sandra and the group that she represents to come clean on where the money comes from. She has tried to uh, deflect it every way there, no matter how you put the question to her. None of us but are any the wiser are as to where so the donations suspicious. come from. Why are you so suspicious, Joe Healy? Because I think, you know, even if you go back to it, if you go back to even the programme that was on last night on the likes of Channel 4, for example, I think that the people that watch that programme should be aware that Channel 4 has invested significantly in a plant-based uh, food food company. But, but that's, so, that's, that's a different but issue now to, it, to it talking is, to but, Sandra but, but today but about no, the billboards, yeah, and yeah. I want to stay with that particular is- issue. Um, why, wh- where do you think the money is coming from? Well, that's what I want to find out. There's no point. To, I have okay. no idea where okay. the money well, is coming well, from. But, but I think yeah, a direct question to a direct yeah, question yeah. to Sandra. But, but let's Mary, clear it up so that you can both move on. Sandra, where's yes. the money coming from? The money is coming from individuals around the world who share our our passion for animal rights, our view of justice for other animals, who want to see an end. Do you to know who they are, Sandra? Yeah, I do, of course. Can you say categorically that it doesn't come, your funding does not come from companies large or small? Absolutely. Absolutely. Sorry, sorry. Mary, that's just too easy. Small companies, of course. Sorry, Joe, if I could just answer that. I can't trace the identity um, and the history of everyone who donates to me. Small companies have donated, and we're very public about that. You can see on social media before Christmas, people said, you know, if you buy some of our products, we'll donate some of our profits to to Eden. But they're, they're very small companies. We are doing this because it's the right thing to do, because it's a social justice issue. You're a non-profit, we're, isn't that right? We're a non-profit, yes. Yeah. Why, why are you not a registered charity? Char- we don't fit the, the criteria for a charitable organisation in Ireland. Only animal welfare organisations fit that criteria. And we're opposed to animal welfare because it refers, number one, to the treatment of animals who are being exploited and killed. And it's an industry term that governs the breeding the deliberately breeding of defenceless, innocent, sentient right. animals Joe, so that they Joe can Healy, be killed. Is there any way that the IFA can work with Sandra? Uh, well, I think the, the people that IFA as an organisation wants to work with has to be interested in transparency and making sure that the public out there are aware of who's funding them. We've got nothing from Sandra this evening. You, no matter how you've put the questions, the public, uh, the people listening to this programme has no idea how... Three million is a lot of money, Mary. It's it's a lot of money to be uh, talking about getting in small donations from this one and that one and the other one all over the world. It's just not... Uh, credible and it's not acceptable that a person can come on, talk about three million and fail and refuse to give the idea of where that money came from. Sandra? We are we are fully compliant with the regulations. We publish full accounts every year. We're not obliged to say where our donations come from. People are entitled to their privacy. That's do you enshrined, know, do you know? enshrined in Irish law. Mm. We do know. You do know in detail who all your, your, your donations, who your, your Look, donations we get are. A, we get an, an a lot of donations. I don't know everybody individually, mm. but obviously we can see where the large sums are coming from. And there are people who, it's very, the kind of world we live in now, we always think that people won't do something unless they get something in return. Well, all these people are looking for in return is a- animal rights. And just, let me tell Joe, Joe, we are already working with members of the IFA 
to help them to transition away from an animal agriculture. We, we, ha- we have case studies in Ireland already of people who have stopped farming animals because their conscience bothered them. And this is very easily done and it needs, we need to put, this is where we need together to put all our effort into ensuring that farmers have a decent living in a plant-based Mary. economy that's sustainable and that's ethical. Joe. Mary, if, if Sandra, if it's like as she says that they've nothing to hide, well then she hasn't, she has no need to worry about coming clean, about being transparent on who's uh, funding them. As I said, three million is a lot of money. Uh, it's very, yeah, very important that, that the public is... An well, yes, I do. To I do, deflect. Sandra, because... It's no, an well, attempt I'm not to defecting anything. No, we have we're called entirely, on... We are we have entirely called on you, Sandra, with the to law. explain who gives you the money. But I don't um, have you said to. That you, you said that there, you have nothing to hide. Well, would it make there. things would it make things easier, Sandra, if you did? Because by refusing to say anything, you know, you're allowing the IFA to make make serious allegations about your funding. You know, there's this, there's been suggestions People of substantial commercial their, interests. No, there's no commercial interest. People are entitled to their privacy, and activists. Ordinary activists on the street... And that is it, street, Sandra. You will not reconsider this, will you? No, ordinary activists on the street have been threatened for their work. So absolutely, we, we would will, will, will protect you, the rights and the interests of the big donors who are behind by, our campaign. Threatened by whom? Well, big ordinary donors. activists are, are, are threatened because of their work. By whom? By members of the public. But even the people that... Even the advertisers... Are, uh, who carry our ads are threatened. Continue, they continually receive Threaten phone calls. Threaten is a very loaded term, Sandra. Yeah, well, it, 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 the, the, the kind of thing that's said to other activists is loaded. And even, the, I mean, Joe sent that, that press release out to every member of the IFA yesterday. But, do you know something? They're running scared because they can see the end of animal do agriculture. Do you interpret Joe's action as a threat? Joe? Oh, I don't see that. I, no, I'm not. I'm not saying. Do you see it? I'm asking Sandra. If she saw it as a threat. Oh no, I don't see. I don't see that as a threat. I see it as somebody who's running scared. And you're running scared, Joe Healy. Well, I think, you know, you've asked her a number of questions there. She's refused, you refuse to answer every one of them, and including who's threatening her and what type of threats they are. Uh, there's very little chance if she I doesn't answer that, that she's going to answer who donates three threatened. million. Who, she's not, definitely not going to come clean and be transparent on who's giving them, who's funding them three million euro, despite and the I fact that she says there's nothing to hide. You know, yeah. lots, so, of, lots of organizations advertise. I don't know of anybody who's, who, who is called to... Uh, to, to break the wishes of their donors okay. and reveal their identity. Well, we're not this going to way. get the answer to that question today. Sandra Higgins, founder of Go Vegan World. Thank you very much. Joe Healy, president of the IFA. Thank you as well. It's five o'clock. We'll take a look at what's still to come now on today's programme.